Folks, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone Ranked time. Well, I'm advanced to rank 19. Uh, whatever engineer. I forgot his name. It's not Gnomish Engineer. It was, it's like... It would be Overexcited Engineer. That's not what it is. Our junior Apprentice. Hey, damn, why can't I remember that? Anyway, that's where I am. I just need to win any game to go up a rank. I do believe I lose a star every time I lose a game. Now that I'm not in the bottom five ranks anymore. A priest. I have not run into a lot of priests. Priests are scary. Novice engineer, that's what it's called. We get rid of you because you're expensive. This is tough. I'm going to get rid of this because I want to get better starting stuff, but I'm going to regret it because I'm going to draw worse things. I really want to get a backstab which the odds are kind of low, but it seems to have worked out. On the other hand, I got head crack, which is not helping at all. Not for a long-ass time. In fact, against the priest, the backstab might not help me enough. If he just... Okay, no Northshire cleric. That makes me happy. You have no idea how happy I am to not see a Northshire cleric there. Now, even though I have a Bloodsail Raider in my hand, normally you want to wait for weapons and stuff on that, I'm going to play the Bloodsail Raider first. Because I, I feel like if I play the Knife Juggler, there's a very good chance it'll just get holy 2 damage. The, the spell that's holy 2 damage. Yeah, I don't remember his name. But one cost, two damage spell. I'd rather have this because she can kind of survive that, and she also fares better against a lot of two mana creatures. The knife juggler can usually kill any sort of any other two mana creature, but he dies in the process most of the time. Whereas the two threes are a little bit more survivable. They can also kill a three two enemy creature, but they don't die against like a two two. Which my opponent has a coin, so he could be running into more expensive creatures. That's not great. But it is not notable that I can kill that with her. Now here's the question. Do I backstab it, and then kill her, and then play him? Or do I shiv it, kill it, and draw an extra card? Mm. I still have him, but I wouldn't have him in play. But I would still have a backstab. The free nature of the backstab is pretty strong. I don't have a lot of one cost cards in here, and the only ones I have require me to have a weapon, basically. So this is not going to draw me anything I can use right away. It's not going to use my mana that well. I could just make a weapon hit this thing for one and then kill it. Then I'm down to health, but in the long run, that's not a big deal. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to save all my stuff. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know how great that is, but it did take out my opponent's coin. Uh, keeping my options open, but it does mean I didn't get out a 3-2 creature. Okay, good. Nothing to buff. Uh, that's good. That guy seems like a good target to backstab. I can backstab him without following up with other things. And I can actually double knife juggler. It's going to be several turns before she can holy, before he can holy nova. I don't know why I always say she for the priest, even though it's I'm pretty sure it's a guy. I think at this point I want a double knife juggler. So this is what we'll do. We'll double knife juggler if only one of them is going to do damage, right? Because one has to be in play first. If the one damage hits this, then I'll just stab it. If not, I'll backstab it. Okay, front stab it is. I'm behind on health, but I get to keep my cards. You can't Holy Nova yet, although you'd like to. You just used your coin. Let me redecorate this tent. There we go. Classy. That 
that's a big guy. Fortunately, I have enough mana for assassinate now. Now the question is, do I want to assassinate or is that excessive? Because much worse crap could be coming than a 3-5 creature. Much, much, so much worse. Now the thing is, I have to backstab him before I shiv him. I'd rather shiv and draw a card first, but backstab only works on undamaged minions. So I think we're going to do that. I'm going to backstab him, then shiv him, then kill him with her. Seems like using a lot of cards, but I only have two assassinates, and I think much worse things are coming down the pipeline than a blocking pool. Uh, that could be handy to have. So I'm going to kill that. I don't have any guys to trigger off the double jug knife juggler, which is too bad. But on the other hand, anything else I put out is going to get eaten in the Holy Nova. And I've cast spells so I can head crack. Which does damage a little bit faster than my dagger, although if I get out the dagger to go with the head crack, it would be better. So, if you have a Holy Nova, I assume you would Holy Nova to kill two knife jugglers and heal yourself too. I mean, it's a very powerful spell. There's a temptation to save it, but this is a lot of damage coming at you if you're not stopping them. You've got to be kidding me! Ooh. Interesting. Now here's the thing. We're kind of into racing mode, right? You can't play any more creatures while this is out. Uh, there's the priest combo, though. You could double its health and then make its attack equal to its health and hit me for 12. I'd only have hit you for 6. You'd be at 14, and I would be at 13. Then when I assassinate it, I would be assassinating the whole combo. That is a tough one. So many he probably isn't going to play any other creatures with this guy out there. I'm going to get in 2 damage when I play this, but I don't know where it's going to go. Some of it's probably going to be wasted on that. Do I backstab him first, and then if it, even one point of damage hits him, I can kill him with one of these guys? Okay, that I like that plan. That's my plan. Backstab. I just need one of these two da to damage him. Of course, of course they won't. Yeah, fun. Well, then we're just gonna go balls to the wall offense. If he gets like power word. Power word. Inner. Strength. Hold, whatever. If he gets his like, if he gets bump, bumped up to like a fourteen, fourteen or something, I'll survive the one hit and then assassinate him. I wonder. And that would take pretty much the whole turn. It takes three mana to do the basic combo, but now that he's only got four health. That would only put him up to an 8-8. Eight, eight. It, would, it wouldn't even be worth playing the second card. That's no good. Oh yeah, that's right, the healing. Right. So drawing an extra card was bad. But, no, this is salvageable. I can do a lot of damage. Can I just kill you? You have 12? 10? 12? Yeah, I just kill you, man. I kill you. I don't know about the thank you, but he did manage to slip it in when it was too late to squelch him. Okay. I've upgraded to a better gnome. And if I can keep the win streak going, then I will go up another rank this game. Was that one or two games? I'm losing track again. I'm pretty sure that was the first I'm pretty sure that was the first game of the recording. If not, it'll be a longer recording. Tough. I don't have to freak out about numbering them the way with the arena where I want. It doesn't matter. It's just the next number in the line for the ranked videos, so it'll be fine. <laughs> I think this is just the second game, though. The second game of second video in a row. 
lose track so fast because that piece of information is not being stored in my like temporary buffer when I'm concentrating on the game. So I'm going first, which is bad, but I have a backstab and a two-cost creature, which is good. We'll pitch him and just see if we can get something better. I'd like to have more options. Oh, that is nice. This is about as good as it gets for a going first hand, I will give you that. Nothing on the first turn, which is why going second is still nicer for this deck in general, because I would have been like, coin ringleader, then, sec then my second turn would be like, backstab ringleader. What now? But no. What now would probably be an explosive trap, and I would lose anyway. So my opponent is not putting out creatures for me to backstab. This is not exactly a massive failing in my plan. Just delaying the giant army slightly. So many. Oh. In fact, it's not even. I'm just going to make a knife. Unless this play is Acidus, my next turn will be Deadly Poison, Defias Ringleader. Or Backstab, Defias Ringleader. Or both, depending on what he puts out. Probably, is, if he's using the coin now, it probably has more than two hit points. Unless he gets the pig. Aw, oh, yeah. Taking four damage, not great. Being able to murder it, awesome. Now, do I want to blow both my ringleaders in one go? That is the question. Oh, I can't play them both right away, anyhow. Never mind. Learn to count mana, noob. Okay. We got them, we got that. Now that this dagger is worth destroying, I'm going to spend one of the uses, because again, I just, I don't like losing a full charged weapon. That may be, it may be dumb that I'm giving away some of my, uh, some of my killing ability, because killing a minion is way more valuable than doing three damage at this stage of the game, but, well, we'll see. I won. I got lucky on that animal companion, though. Uh, I mean, the 2 4 1 is not great, but the bear would have been a horrible experience. Um, I guess we'll stab that since its poison is not instant death to champions or heroes or whatever they call these things. Uh, now. It's going to have 4 mana. That's multi-shot. That's not like a big AoE, though. The, only, the AoE to worry about would be explosive shot. And I think I've just got to take my chances on that. Because I have quite a dangerous army if I just do this. So if he doesn't have the exploding trap, not explosive shot, I said the wrong thing. You know what I meant. If he has an exploding trap, then sucks to be me. Although it's not totally the end of the world, it'll be really, really bad. If he doesn't have that, if he's trying to kill these with, like, exploding shot or multi-shot, that is fine. You use multi-shot on my crappy 2-2s. Two Although he did kill the good one. I mean, he did as well. He got it. If it matters at all, he got the two he would have chosen. But, yeah. Now, hunters can have weapons. It is less common because they're all rare, but I'm in constructed. I have to kind of assume more that so my opponents do have the cards that are bad for me. I think I want to save some of these guys. <laughs> you looking at me? Yeah, make a dagger. You know what? I am going to play the Geomancer, though. Here we go. I'm delivering some pretty good beats. I do want to keep up the pressure, but I'm keeping in my hand the ability to destroy a weapon and trigger the SI-7 agent. So I can still kill some junk. That's no good. So buzzard and what? How many cards is he going to draw? One. Does he have the Timberwolf? No Timberwolf. Okay. Could have been worse. Assassinate is not called for here. I have enough right now to do 8 damage to him flat out. That is kind of crazy. What does he have other than the exploding trap that could mess me up? 
I've just got to try and win here. I'm if he ha if he gets an exploding trap, it's going to be really bad for me. But I need to play. I need to kill this because otherwise he has a good chance to. He'll have more chances to draw solutions. An abomination would be horrible. An explosive trap would be horrible. But I think at this point I just have to go for it, mm -hmm. even though I hate depleting my hand against so many cards. He's going to have very little health left. But yeah, I have to cast something first in order to trigger this SI7 agent. And even if I wanted to use the assassinate for that, I couldn't really. Ha, I'm splitting up the creatures with three attack because explosive shot, the actual shot one, targets one thing and kills the adjacents. And this way, he can't kill all my bigger ones. <laughs> He's got to kill a lot of stuff. There are ways he could do it. I don't know if he has them. Like, I don't know if he plays Abominations in here. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. He has the Croc. That implies to me that he's playing more of a heavy beast deck. Something a little bit closer to the old Unleash the Hounds. Where he wants to take all advantage of the beastness. So he's less likely to have an Abomination in that. I... Hound Master, I was kind of expecting that. So if you give, make this a large taunt creature, that helps him a little. That also helps him, but not enough. Now, he can kill one thing with this. That'll help him, but... Surviving is going to be a tricky there. And impossible, because I have an Assassinate. I have two Assassinates. Okay, that went well. It's tricky, though, because those decisions I made look good in hindsight, because I won. But if he had an exploding trap, it would have all gone downhill. Now, after the first couple times I said that, I knew that he didn't have one in his hand, or he would have played it. But that doesn't mean that he couldn't have drawn one. Especially when he got to draw extra an extra card from his buzzard, so... You can't know all of the information, you just have to do the best you can based on the information. In that case, I felt going for the kill was worth a shot. Anyway, I think that was only two games in a video. If it was three, then you will be one. But, we're going to see if I can move up another rank next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.